when I got my first business license in Taiwan, I was looking for accountants. And the very first guy I went to see literally did not stop speaking for two hours. And he told me that if he saved me a Rolls Royce, that I should give him a Mercedes Benz. Now this didn't sit very well with me because at that time, I didn't even own a car. Luckily for me, I was invited to an event, a seminar about opening businesses in Taiwan as a foreigner. And that's where I met Anne. I shouldn't say that everyone needs an accountant for a foreigner living in Taiwan. But if you have some, you know, personal tax, you know, filing problem or a company, you know, tax issue, you should uh, need an accountant. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, maybe you will make some mistake. Right. Yeah, right. and the result will be, you know, will, will be shock to you. <laughs> you know, Taiwan government always can ask you to leave. Yeah. Yeah. You're a okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because You're you are not the citizen of this country. Okay. Therefore, they can ask you to leave. Okay. So, um, so I, I can only say that if you are not sure, okay, whether you are very confident on this, or uh, the situation is new to you, maybe you should, you know, at least consult uh, a CPA, okay, professional. in advance, yeah, professional, at least one time, so that you can feel whether you, you do need some prof uh, professional service. Mm. Yeah. What is the most common thing you deal with for foreigners, non-Taiwanese? Okay. Usually, okay, uh, a foreigner um, sense they need an accountant. Usually, uh, start with okay, either he has some very complicated personal income tax filing mm -hmm. uh, to be taken care, of, okay, or okay, uh, the guy already stayed in Taiwan for several years and he decided to start his own business. Mm -hmm. So I think maybe um, the first uh, things we will meet is someone who need to set up a company, set up an entity, mm -hmm. okay. And uh, the second most is uh, someone who has some very complicated, you know, income tax problem. For example, he earned a lot, he need to pay a lot of tax, mm -hmm. then he have some question on the deductions and exemption. I think everybody has his own experience and his, you know, own perception or believing, okay. Therefore, um, uh, when you come to you know, a, a, a problem, okay, you have your own solution. Usually, okay, for a foreigner, okay, uh, coming to me, sometimes is already some for some cases it's already too late because they already made some mistake on their filing. Oh wow! Oh, okay, or they have some you know uh, wrong treatment to the problem. I think that the worst things is okay. Usually, you you see things too simple. Okay, you think, hey, this is the solution, so I should do this because according to my experience in my home country, okay, that will do, okay. Mm -hmm. But usually it's not, okay, in Taiwan. Yeah. Because uh, this is why you need some professional service in different countries. And, and your, your office, what kind of services do you offer in your office? Well, actually, I almost you know, offer all the services required by small business. Of course, that including a foreign small business, or, or I should say the foreign middle size to small size, you know, uh, business, yeah. And personal also. That, that's right. For example, if you want to set up a company, okay, you do need someone to do the service for you. And after incorporation, you need someone to do the bookkeeping and to do the tax filing, mm -hmm. to do the audit, and uh, maybe uh, you have some ARC problems, you need to apply the ARC for yourself or for your friends or for your employees. And uh, toward the end of the year, you need to issue withholding statement to you or to uh, your landlord, something like that. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, once you have the your withholding statement, you need to file your personal income tax return in May. And then we also provide a service. So almost everything you can think about, okay, uh, mm -hmm. um, we, we, we will provide. My philosophy is, in your life, mm -hmm. you have to trust, the first person you have to trust <laughs> is your mechanic. That's right. Because if you have a problem with your car, that's, that's a right. Problem. That's right. The second person is your accountant. That's and right. And the third person is your husband or your wife. <laughs> in, in, exactly in that order. Yeah. yeah. So, because if you, I feel if in Taiwan, if you have a problem with money, that's, that's right. a crime. That's right. That's so right. So it's very serious to get a proper that, that's, accountant. That's that's right. That's right. That that's what I mean. So, okay. Usually, people always see things too simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the result maybe uh, some is not affordable to you. Yeah. Mm. Another thing is when somebody gets to the point where they think they want to have an accountant. Mm -hmm. How do they know the person that they hire is mm -hmm. in fact a certified accountant in Taiwan? Is there a way to check yeah. it or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there are several ways. For example, uh, 
if you are uh, official, the certified public accountant, you have to join the uh, CPA Association in Taiwan. So actually, you go to a website, and of course, it's in Chinese. Okay, you can always check. Okay, uh, whether they are the real or you know. Uh, a person so the name will quality. be on this website. That's right. Oh, That's okay, right. Okay. So you can, so check, you can it. check. You can check it. And mm -hmm. another thing is maybe you can visit the CPA and you know can test them um, whether you know they can provide you know um, you know um, uh, knowledgeable okay mm -hmm. you know uh, answers to you. And not yeah. necessarily they can really deal with foreigners either, right? Because That's right. It's a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, actually, okay. I think that uh, for those foreigners in Taiwan. It's also you know hard to find an accountant who can speak English well yeah. or understand their questions. Mm. Uh, it all depends on the experience, mm. because you know uh, a lot of you know um, uh, problems to a foreigners. It's not a problem, okay, to uh, a local person. Mm -hmm. We are very experienced, okay, small accounting firm, and our target market is those you know uh, local and the foreign, the middle uh, middle scale to small scale, okay, business. Therefore, we treat ourselves as a, uh, I can say, family doctor. Mm. Okay, family maybe doctor. family doctor. Maybe we are we, we don't know everything, but we can sense. Okay, uh, uh, where okay uh, where 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 is the problem? Okay, at least we can guide you to get the solution. Okay, so no matter you want to sell a company, you want to apply your ARC, you want to do the bookkeeping, you need someone to, you know, talk to your mother company, your, you know, CFO, CEO, overseas, okay, mm. you want to file personal income, okay, and uh, you have some problem on, you know, uh, getting your ARC, something like that, we can also, you know, serve mm. you, yeah. Mm.